So let's go back to how we're going to actually use this. All right? So the first thing is to make sure you've got the right power setting. The next thing now is to, or you know, the lowest power setting ideally, and now let's look at how we're actually going to use it in a, in a patient's mouth or in a mouth. So remember what I said, it tends to me, tends to be that this vibrates, this cleans more effectively in a forward-backward motion okay, than it does in a sideways motion. Yeah? So, what that means is, on a tooth surface, I can bring it around like this, okay, you want to be coming in side on, yeah? Not like this, okay? And probably not like this either, okay? So what we want to be ideally doing is coming in side on, okay? And then with just very small mo mo movements, we're going to feel around the tooth, okay? And you can see as I come into the interproximal space how I have to bring this instrument right round in order to keep it side on to the tooth surface, yeah? So I'm not allowing it just to come in, come around the side and then just drop in like this, okay? Because that would mean that this was cleaning this way. What I really want is to be cleaning side on. Okay, so from the side here, that means coming round to, okay, and then angling it round as much as is possible, and it gets difficult the further back you get, so you come into the tooth space, into proximal space, uh, side on, yeah. So, that's the, ang that's the sort of way you ought to be using it um, relative to the tooth surface. The next thing to remember is that the gingivae are extremely fragile things, and we want to keep them there. We don't want to be ripping them up and uh, removing um, gingivae, okay? Apart from anything, it's painful, and the second thing is it's unnecessary. It can probably cause recession and all sorts of stuff with it. So... When you're using your tip, what you need to start getting really, really used to is feeling, feeling the crevice, okay, or the base of the pocket. This is when you're doing subgingival scaling. Cleaning the base of the pocket, okay, and getting used to that slightly spongy feel, okay, but you're not causing pain, without causing pain to the patient. And the easiest way to do this is without local anesthesia, to go around and clean and when a patient tell your patient to tell you when it's uncomfortable on the tooth or, or on the gum rather. Okay? So the motion would be something like say we were going to come um, around this tooth here. So probably go this gentle small movements, okay? Very small movements like this. You know you're hardly moving, you're just gently easing it down until you feel the pocket. Okay, in the base of the pocket. And then you might just change the angulation a little bit so you can come up, okay, side on again, okay. Remember the tooth is not square, so moving around in order to get into those spaces, okay. So that was that mesial bit of the, of this premolar here, okay. And then you'll be coming from the front of the tooth, Okay, so then you're just going to ease yourself, ease your way around where there's calculus or where the pocketing is deep, okay, just easing your way around, okay, into the next interproximal space, okay, and again, just small movements on the tooth, yeah, and then just trying to cover all of that tooth surface, that root surface, so that you remove the calculus, okay? Now you may also choose, in this instance, to come in at a slightly different angle to further to make cleaning even more thorough. Okay, so you might come in, for example, like that, okay? So you're actually scaling in a slightly different direction. Remember, it's only the tip that's really doing much of the work, okay? So we're talking just about the sort of top 
few millimetres there. Yeah. So that part of it, that side, that side of that tip, has to be covering as much of that root surface as possible. Yeah. Okay. So there we are. That's, that's scaling with an ultrasonic for you.